Hello, I'm Dr. Harper. This video is in, is in Echelon Inventory, Stochastic Demand, Inventory, Homework, Excel tutorial. So let's bring up the problem. Now this Echelon problem, uh, a manufacturing company controls its own distributor, wholesale, and retail store in a region. In the past, each stage of the supply chain has developed their own inventory policy. The inventory policies and the information are given below where all the time measurements are in weeks. So when we look at these, we see we have an inventory policy here, which is going to be the ROP and the Q. So this is a, a, a continuous review system. The company is considering an echelon supply chain inventory policy for the distributor, wholesale, and retailer to improve efficiencies, because they see a lot of stock out and service level problems. In the inventory policies, the company wants to use EOQ not just a Q, but an EOQ, and a 91% service level for each supply chain. The following unit costs were obtained for the analysis, and there they are. And then what are the echelon supply chain inventory policies? Okay, so let's take these. First, let's take the information here, control C. Uh, let's bring up Excel, and then let's uh, come down here and let's uh, ways Let's control V and paste it. There we go. And I notice here, these need to be uh, numerical. In other words, these didn't get, we'll just take these out. Okay. And then down here we have the um, this information. Let's bring this information in. Control C. Let's bring back Excel. Right here. Paste that in. Good. Okay, now we have the information. Uh, let's format this. Okay, now what we all oh, can then we have uh, the have the um, bring this out. The company is considering Echelon uh, supply chain inventory policy for the distributor, wholesaler, retailer to improve efficiencies. The inventory policies the company wants to use an EOQ and a 91% service level for each stage of the supply chain. Okay, so let's bring this over here. And so first let's look at EOQ. So let's enlarge this. Let's make sure we format this. There we go. And so now we know, oh, we know that the, um, first let's look at EOQ. And we know that, let's, uh, Format, format all these to be uh, Arial. There we go. And also 10. Okay. Now we can uh, format the columns. Get this so we can see it better. And there we go. Okay. And format the rows. The rows also need to be formatted. There we go. Okay, now the EOQ is over here. Uh, and remember the EOQ, EOQ equals the square root of two times the mean times the ordering cost divided by the carrying cost. Okay, and here this is the ordering cost right here, C sub O, and this is the carrying cost, C sub C, and up here we have the means up there. Okay, uh, let's, let's justify all these because we will want to do that. There we go. So let's just go ahead and do this. Equals the square root of 2 times the mean, which is up here, uh, times the ordering cost divided by the carrying cost. 
in parenthesis, return, and then just copy this over. And so there's our lot size for each one of them. But now, so that's the EOQ lot size. See, before, uh, uh, our lot size was very different. Uh, but now, our lot size is, is EOQ. Okay, next is ROP. Uh, well, in ROP, first of all, we need the echelon lead time. Now remember the echelon lead time is cumulative from the retailer, bring this down, from the retailer up upstream. The uh, lead time for the retailer is simply the lead time. Where's the lead time? Here it is, 0.2. But the lead time for the wholesaler equals 0.2 plus 0.4. And for the distributor equals 0.2 plus 0.4 plus 1. And there they are. Okay. So now that we have the lead time, uh, we're also going to need need the uh, the uh, stockout level alpha. Let me, let me say it this way: stockout level or alpha is going to equal, uh, and it's going to see what was it. Let's make sure ninety one percent is a service level. So therefore, the stockout level will be nine percent. So this is going to be 0 0.09, 0 0.09, 0 0.09, and there we go. Okay. So now, do ROP. And we know over here that ROP is going to equal the mean times the lead time, which is the echelon lead time, right, plus the safety stock, which is Z times... Uh, the square root of the variance times the lead time, which is the echelon lead time. Okay, and I put this echelon in there, E in here to represent echelon lead time. Let me just bring this down a little bit more streamlined. And there's there's the equation. Okay, so now that we have that, now we can do it. So, uh, so let's do it. Okay. So right here is the first one. Uh, that's going to equal the mean times the echelon lead time plus the Z. I didn't calculate the Z, but we can calculate it. It's normal standard inverse of 1 minus the alpha, which is 0 0.09, which would be a 91% service level, times the square root of the variance here times the echelon lead time again. There we go. And so now our lot size is going to be 1063 approximately, and we just bring this over. Okay. Now we don't need all these decimals. We'll just reduce this down, reduce this down, click, click. And uh, so there's going to be our inventory policy. If I bring this down, bring this over, come down, there we go. We can see for the distributor, it's 1063, it's 1063, 1688. For the wholesaler, it's 276 for the ROP, 1267 for the lots, EOQ, and then 4746. Okay, and so that's really all there is to the echelon lead time. And... Um, such that upstream can take can can uh, 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 their lead time then has to has to be aware of downstream lead time. Okay, so that's all I have for this ex, uh, tutorial. I hope it helps. Between now and the next time I see you, be safe and take care.